3D component models are abundant online. There are many sources of realistic models available for download. These can aid in planning the outline and the creation of the footprint itself. While you can add a 3D model in 2D mode using the command place 3D body, it's advisable to do this in 3D mode. You can switch from 2D to 3D mode by hitting 3 on the keyboard, and you can return to 2D mode with the keyboard shortcut 2. To rotate the current view, hold the shift key, right click, and hold while dragging the mouse. This will rotate the board around the center point of the navigation ball that appears. If you right click and hold arcs or arrows on the nav ball, you can rotate the board in those specific directions. To get back to the default view, hitting 0 on the keyboard rotates the 3D view so that the camera perspective is perpendicular to the board and will rotate the board so that the horizontal plane, X axis, runs along the bottom of the editing window at zero rotation. If you would like to place a 3D body, go to Tools, 3D Body, and a dialog appears allowing you to browse to your 3D model file. The selected model is attached to the mouse cursor and can be positioned in the work area. Sometimes, manually placing 3D bodies can be challenging due to the lack of snap points, or that it might need to be adjusted on the Z axis. So initially, let's just drop it somewhere so we can start adjusting its position. Press Escape to do this. First, we need to align the 3D model so it aligns to the board. Let's go to Tools, 3D Body Placement, Align Face with Board. We will then be prompted to select the 3D model we want to align to the board. The second is to click on the plane that needs to be aligned to the front side of the board. The next step is to add snap points that will make it more convenient to properly position the model relative to the footprint. In this case, adding the points based on the location of the mounting holes might be the easiest way. So we'll add snap points to the center of these mounting holes by using the Tools, 3D Body Placement, Add Snap Points from Vertices command. Once this command has been activated, left click on the 3D model you'd like to add snap points to. The cursor will change to crosshairs. There are two ways to create points. Standard, which adds a point directly to where the crosshairs meet, and the second way creates a point in the center of the segment defined by two points. You can switch between these two modes by using the shift space keyboard combination and the current mode will be displayed in the status bar below the workspace. Here we'll be using the second option. Let's define a diagonal, two points at opposite corners of the connector to make the pin center a snap point. We'll do this for all four pins. These snap points will be visible in 2D mode, making alignment with the mounting holes easier. Switching back to the 3D view, we can do a visual inspection to verify the step model is properly positioned. Adding additional snap points can help further verify correct placement. And once you're done, we can use Tools, 3D Body Placement, Remove Snap Points once you're satisfied the 3D model has been placed correctly. Alternatively, you can disable their display in the View Configuration panel if you think you might want to use them later. So now we know how to place 3D models precisely on components using our powerful 3D placement tools. Thanks for watching.